Security guard Gavin Plum's infatuation with TV presenter Holly Willoughby knew no bounds. It was scary and unconventional. Now Gavin Plum, who's from Harlow, Essex, was said to have used chat rooms like abduct lovers to speak to people he thought were like-minded. Only the 37-year-old had spoken to a US undercover officer who called himself David Nelson. Gavin told David about his twisted and sordid fantasies. In a voice note also to another person called Mark, Gavin explained his fantasies, saying that they were no longer enough. He now needed the real thing. He says a plan of action. We're gonna hit it hard, hit it at night, less traffic on the road. Now Gavin Plum also explained he was going to take outfits from Harley Willoughby's home that he liked and would force her to record a video that she came with us under her own free will, so that covers us. Now Gavin Plum was so besotted with the TV presenter that the obese man attempted to get a security job at the studio Holly Willoughby worked at in a bid just to breathe the same air as her. Gavin had also set out clear notes that described when and when not the TV presenter would have security if there was CCTV at her own address as well. Gavin Plum was arrested at his home in Pottersfield, Essex when the American undercover officer forwarded the information to the FBI, who then contacted the British police. When Gavin was read his rights, the adrenaline kicked in, and he feigned ignorance as if he was an innocent victim, or this had to be some kind of joke. It had to be said that Gavin also had a history of targeting women. In 2008, he was jailed after threatening two 16-year-old teenage girls with a blade at Woolworth's shop he worked in, and forced them into the stock room where he tied their hands. In a separate incident, Gavin had also used the imitation G-U-N and tried to pull over a woman while claiming that he was a police officer, all so he could take her. And now the security guard has been found guilty of plotting to R and K, the TV presenter, at Chelmsford Crown Court. Now when the verdict was read out, Gavin was said to have slumped forward in his chair, shaking his head, and then he began to weep and sniff the tears away. Of course he was crying. Gavin himself tried to explain that despite he had fantasies about a TV presenter, Holly Willoughby, that's all there were, despite the massive amount of evidence against him. That include images of ropes, cable ties, and also incriminating messages and voice notes, and also disturbing chat logs. He's due to be sentenced soon. Stay safe. Safe.